Hello everyone, and welcome back to Detached. Before I get into this, I'd like to really say thank you to the dev team because they saw my video and they have today promoted it on their social media. And that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I know with smaller games companies, they're probably more likely to go looking around and to notice um, YouTubers playing their games um, rather than the bigger companies that mostly won't notice, but still, that's, I really appreciate that. And I'm sure they appreciate people playing their game. I appreciate them sharing me playing their game. It's just really nice to have that kind of engagement um, with game developers. So, thank you for the game and thank you for noticing me. Um, anyway, let's continue. I wonder where it's going to put me. I'm going to guess just at leaving the airlock. That's my guess. I'm trying to die this time, you know? Remember the controls a little bit. Get my space legs again. This is no less phenomenal. No matter how many times you see it. Okay, I feel more at ease um, right this second than I did last episode, which is weird because I was expecting to have to get back into it. Don't worry, I didn't forget about my space sloth. Here's the plan. So do I need to get around this this structure? Shadows. So I don't I don't know whether I need to go over there to any of that, um, or whether I'm supposed to do something on this main part of the ship. Ship, I guess. It's a ship, I think. So I'm going to look around this thing this time. That's a very flat looking thing over there. I kind of almost want to go all the way over there just to see how far you can travel. Oh, are they like panels off the ship or something. The one thing that's... I don't know. I mean, I've not, I've not been in space. I have no idea whether in space the backdrop looks flat. I'm not criticising the aesthetics of this game. This game is absolutely gorgeous. I said it last episode, I will say it again. It is phenomenal. But it does look kind of like a skybox. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not saying I could do better. But maybe space is like that. I have no idea. I've not been into space. I would love. Honestly, if I could go into space in my lifetime, that is like more than anything else, I think. I would love to go into space in my lifetime. Seriously. Oh, slow down a little bit. This way. Ooh, 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 ooh. lose my balance slightly. Spin around. Just calm. Calm movements. Keep an eye on my fuel. That looks like something's taken a chunk out of it. Like, not that it's naturally that shape that something's hit it. Oh, whoa, whoa, drifting off into space, not good. Okay. So, in here. There is no panel or anything for me to get in here, is there?
Okay. There's nothing up here. I think I... Is that... No, that's that's just the point of where I'm pointing. Oh! I know what that is. That's clever. That's the direction you're travelling in. That's a really good um, bit of HUD design, actually. So I was like, why is that trailing though? And it's because you change your, your the vector of travel changes in a gradual fashion. So you don't immediately start going in another direction. It mod modifies the direction you're going in. Right, I'm gonna head over here because there were fuel things down here and I need some fuel. That's actually a really handy thing as well because I need to know what direction I'm actually going in at any given time. Slow it on down there. Nicely done. So yeah, I still don't know exactly where I'm meant to be going, but in a, in a certain extent I don't actually mind that because it's thrilling to just look around this stunning environment uh, which way am I? Oops, don't spin the one thing you do not do is spin too fast because that gets very uncomfortable very quickly moving fast not so bad although you really can lose track of how fast you're actually going. Does that? Oh! If you move your head, it moves the suit when you reach the edges of it. That is a nice touch. So I can move it down so I can see down a little bit better. Okay, uh, this is pressing on my forehead a little bit. Give me a second. Just adjust the uh, angle on that slightly. That's better. Right, so which way is the ship now? I have actually lost track of where I came from. I have no idea which way up I am now. It's fine. Okay, I came from around there, so the ship is behind this giant asteroid here. I need to keep an eye on my oxygen. Because that will that will run out even if I'm not moving. What's this over here? The way that bit's sticking out is very interesting. It looks artificial. I'm just going to stop and let myself drift over so that I have better speed control. No, that's just some rocks, isn't it? Okay. See how long it takes to stop its base. Emergency bay. Yes, that's where I'm going, isn't it? Okay, so how do I get into this thing? It's weird, I keep pressing the correct button to to accelerate and brake on the left one, but I keep doing it the wrong way around on the right one. That's funny. Orange? Does, is orange going to be an indicator colour? or Oh! Is that showing up on the screen, what that's doing with the lighting? 
Actually, that's that's probably accurate. Actually, now I think about it, I wouldn't be surprised if that's well, uh, maybe not so much up there. If it's showing up on the screen like it is for me, um, I don't know whether it will be. Oh, hello. No, they're just things I can't interact with them. Oh. Here we go. Um, why can't I interact with it? I hope there's not a bug again. That would be a bit unfortunate. So, what then? I really hope it's not a bug. You know, I I just love this this game already. Just, just on hello. Nine, eight, seven. These are the pods. These are the escape pods, but I still need to get in there to use them. Ooh. Okay, I'm alright. We've got a blinking light. This is really pressing on my face today. So, yeah, I, I love this game for its, its mechanics and its aesthetics, and I really don't want reasons to get annoyed with it. Because I like it. But I already had one bug in the tutorial where it wasn't working, and and um, I'm wondering if this is another bug. <sighs> oh, this is ridiculously uncomfortable. Why is it so uncomfortable? Sorry. Um, yeah, if I can't get in to the airlock. I don't know what else. I can do. Because it seemed fairly reasonably indicated that this was my target from the conversation. Well, I say conversation, it was one sided. I am getting quite low on oxygen. I know, thank you. I have 300 seconds of oxygen left. 300 seconds to try and find some oxygen. Um, 
That is not going to be the easiest thing. Okay, there's all bitey. I'm going to have to go back over here and just hope I can make it across and control my speed. Where was the oxygen? Is that oxygen or is that fuel? I think that's oxygen. Look at me drifting right towards it. I sort my rotation out. So check out that being perfectly on target. Okay, maybe not perfectly. Thank you. Reactor chamber. I'm a little concerned that I'm going to spend this entire episode wandering around, which isn't a bad thing, I just don't know whether it makes for a good video. More oxygen there if I need it. Wait a minute. Communication relay. Can I get in there? Looks like I can. Okay, this is something then. Oh, I'm going to need a... No? Okay, we are making progress. Good. Um, I need to flip over. Not like that. Up, up. Emergency bay closed. So. Scanning environment. Communication relay. Status update. Communication offline. Oh, is this locked? Okay. I'm starting to feel a little sweaty, so I'm probably edging on nausea. Just give myself a moment for this. Uh, let's check the time on the video. Wow, I've been going for 20 minutes. I don't think I'll cut anything out. Maybe I will. But I ramble a lot, so I'll probably keep my rambling in. New module acquired. And now I can go through here. What do I, how do I use the modules then? Because that's appeared on my HUD here. Do I need to go down? Oh, 
I've got to say a little lot of fear of everything would be nice once in a while. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Ooh, don't spin that much. Presumably I need nans for the... Oh, hello, I haven't actually looked at... That sphere before. That's really cool. Oh, boost is on here. And what does that do? Does that does that just make me go faster? I can't tell. The trouble is, I'm not going to try and go fast inside and outside. There are enough frames of reference, so I guess I can see if I put my distance uh, wayfind, point finder, whatever the word for it is, at something, and see how quickly it counts down. Reboot in progress. Ah. Reboot complete. Boost. Yep, yeah, okay. I got it. Yeah, like the sphere shows the uh, direction. Well, it shows it basically shows you the vector of your boosting. Reboot in progress. Do I need boost to make it through here? No, I don't. Reboot complete. Well, I can get some more oxygen, but I don't. Have I trapped myself in here? No, I must have to go upwards in here. Stop spinning. Actually, I'm getting sli just slightly. Not very nauseous, just enough to be uncomfortable. Just vaguely. I mean, this is fun, but... <laughs> hmm. High force pull. Oh, God. Warning. High velocity particle stream ahead. Is it a good idea to do this while I am very slightly nauseous? Geronimo! Oh... Uh... Okay, that's why you need boot. I think we have a video thumbnail. Oh yeah, we have our video thumbnail. Let's see if I can get my head in a position to hide most of the HUD. Okay, no, I can do this. I don't actually need the boost for this. Oh, we're, we're losing my... <sighs> losing my dinner if I'm not careful. I may have to sit down for a second. Um, I'm not changing modes. I love simulation mode. It's just immensely satisfying. And I'm so glad that we have the option of proper Newtonian motion. It's just... It's, uh, all things in moderation, you know? Communication relay. 
communication online. Nice. Reactor chamber. Power offline. Power relay. Transmitters offline. Power inverter. Inverter offline. So where do I go next then? What's going to open up next? Do I need to do these in order? So the reactor next. Now that communication's on, am I going to get a message to say go to the reactor next? I may stop the episode here again. Slightly short, but this is starting to get a little oh a little bit much um i would love to carry on but i do feel not sick just kind of yeah um so that is going to be it for this episode if you've enjoyed the video remember to leave a like share favorite and comment help support the channel follow me on twitter to stay update what's going on and subscribe if you want to see more Thanks for watching. Next time, I'm guessing Reactor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.